Morning, authorities filed charges for two murders Dahmer allegedly committed in 1988 and one last year. Roseanne Tellius is standing by in Milwaukee with the latest details of Dahmer's legal situation. Roseanne? Well, Bob, as you know, police have identified all 17 people that Dahmer claims to have killed. Yet here in Milwaukee, he is only facing 15 murder charges. Now, that's because one of his victims was allegedly killed in Ohio, and in the case of another victim, there's no body and simply not enough evidence to press charges on that. But there was still plenty of evidence to bring Dahmer back into the courtroom again today. Do you understand all of that? Yes, I do, Your Honor. Jeffrey Dahmer once again faced the families of victims he claims to have killed and dismembered when he appeared today in Milwaukee County Court. As he's done at his other court appearances, he sat quietly staring straight ahead as he was charged with three additional counts of intentional homicide but he waived a preliminary hearing. Because in my opinion, it would be a waste of time, number one, to have a preliminary hearing. Number two, I do not think tactically it would help us in what we ultimately will be doing in this case. Thank you. It was a short appearance for Dahmer, less than 15 minutes, but for victims' relatives, it was almost more than they could bear. You get a sick feeling in your stomach, and you feel like you want to vomit. He doesn't show any remorse to me whatsoever. You know, and I just look at him and I say he looked like a man, but he, he appears to me as a demon. You know, they murder people for no reason whatsoever. I was hoping he looked at us. I mean, I think he should see all the people who are in pain behind his gruesome act. You know, I think that he should have looked at us, you know. Didn't he? No. Dahmer now faces 15 murder counts, but Milwaukee detectives say their work continues. The leads come in every day. It's amazing how many people are missing, really, that we never even knew about before. But we continue to investigate this. We haven't stopped. We're not sure if this is the total number or if there'll be more. Now, that detective was speaking at a news conference called today by Police Chief Philip Areola. Areola had initially called this news conference to call attention to the outstanding performance of some Milwaukee police and solving a recent spate of robberies here. But, of course, uh, reporters used that opportunity to ask him about the three officers who are suspended, officers who, of course, encountered Dahmer back in May, and then let him go. Now, all he would say is that uh, he doesn't know when he's going to announce whatever action he plans to take against those officers. But he did say he wants to give them an opportunity to meet with him face to face, and they have not done that yet. Going back to you, Bob. Roseanne, now with 15 murders being charged against Dahmer, earlier in the in the case, uh, Dahmer's attorney was noncommittal as to what kind of defense he might put forth. Is there any indication now about an insanity plea? Well, Bob, he, he won't say for sure, but I really think that uh, a lot of people are speculating that an insanity in defense will indeed be the route he takes. Uh, let me clarify one thing. Some people are confused because Dahmer has been found mentally competent at these court hearings. But let me tell you, that has nothing to do with his state of mind at the time of the crime. That will be the important factor. And that's uh, one reason why an insanity uh, defense is still plausible.